this is Dorian Hartfield from Buckstop Truckwear, and today I'd like to review our 2025 demo truck on the F550 chassis, and especially talk about our new Wildland suspension. Buckstop started in 2001 making uh, front and rear bumpers for all kinds of different trucks. Over the years we worked a whole lot with different firefighters and fire truck builders and developed a lot of new products with them. Part of that new product development was the single wheel conversion where we take the duals off of a truck like this and convert it to military tires which improves traction, off-road capability and all those other things. We're doing that for F450s, F550s, F650s, Ram 4500, Ram 5500 trucks. Today I want to show you all the goodies for 2025 and what makes this truck a better F550. So what we've been able to do with the relationship with fire is take that same technology and apply it to overland, adventure trucks, motorhomes, campers, and make it available to everyone. This is a Type 6 fire brush truck. They often call this a quick attack, and these trucks are what go in first to a wildland fire. What's unique is that this truck is carrying as much water as it possibly can, so it's heavy. They're running at full GVW, but it needs to go fast, and the problem is that lives are at stake, so it needs to be ultimately reliable. They gotta be able to get in and get out. Today, I wanna show you what makes this 550 better. We wanna give you the confidence to drive faster, to push it a little harder, to drive the longer distance, to go in a little bit deeper, and the confidence to know that you're gonna come out safely. The first feature of this truck that really relates to fire specifically is this bumper. Not a lot of people know about it, but this is our six inch extension bumper. So what's going on here is we've taken the normal bumper and moved it forward six inches so that we have mounting for the monitor nozzle, spray nozzle on the front, and the space in the back allows for plumbing, can be routed anywhere while leaving the winch in the front. Sometimes people like to put hoses back here for running off the front. The main bumper still has all of our standard features, which is the winch mount up to 16,500 pounds, trailer receiver, tow hooks, auxiliary lighting. We make them in steel or aluminum. Another new feature for this year are newly engineered HD fender flares. These are HDPE plastic. They come in a uh, textured finish, UV stable. They don't require any other post-processing, no Linex, no paint, no nothing. You can run them as is. This is the same kind of material that they make kayaks out of. They make Yeti coolers out of it. It's very strong, very robust material. What's cool here is that it's got a recess where we tuck in our fender liner that transitions from the flare into the factory liner. We're really excited to have found a new tire on the market. Uh, Buckstop is importing the Petless RM910 tire. Up until now, choosing a tire was a series of compromises. You've got to choose between noise, speed, weight rating, availability, quality, all these different things. We think this tire checks all the boxes. It's got an 81 mile an hour speed rating. It's quiet, it runs really true, it's very round, and it balances out extremely well. Buckstop manufactures single wheel conversion kits on several different suspension platforms. Wheels, tires, fenders, and so on are all, all fairly standard, but the performance differences really come with the suspension. And suspension boils down to springs and dampening that result in ride quality, off-road traction, how fast you can go off-road, and general driving performance. A key part of the suspension is the adjustable track bar. It's essentially the piece that attaches the axle to the frame. If there's a death wobble in a Ford, nine times out of 10, it's due to the track bar. We at Buckstop use Synergy Manufacturing to build our track bar. They build really high quality parts for racing and off-road Jeeps and trucks and all that kind of stuff. Their bar is inch and three quarter diameter, heavy wall tubing. It's not gonna fail. Turning the 41 inch tall tires takes a lot of force. And with a single wheel conversion, we also moved the turning fulcrum outboard away from the OE pivot point. The large 41 inch tires transmit inputs from the road back upstream into the steering wheel, giving you a little bit of a twitchy feel. The dampener takes all that out and eliminates every bit of shake in the wheel. It has a perfect driving feel. The biggest news for 2025 is our new uh, Wildland electronic suspension system. What it does is it takes the uh, harshness out of the ride. It allows the truck to go faster over off-road terrain. It's softer and more flexible over big obstacles, all while maintaining more safety, comfort, and ride control at high speeds. 
The electronically valved shocks adapt to road conditions 250 times per second at the direction of an onboard computer. The ECU receives driving inputs, which is steering, speed, and inertia inputs that gauge cornering, stopping, and acceleration. And then the algorithm uses those inputs and makes a ride control changes at each corner by changing the valving in each shock. You'll find similar systems in high-end road vehicles, even Ford Raptor trucks. The system offers three modes, it's highway, off-road, and wind, and that's pulling up different algorithms that are written for the driving experience. Off-road allows flexibility, and the axles can walk over large bumps. The on-road mode provides stability at speed. Wind mode is for tall vehicles. The algorithm increased sensitivity to side-to-side -to -side action. Best of all, it's a very robust system with few moving parts. If the system fails, at the end of the day, we're still on springs and we still have shock absorbers. It may not be dynamically controlled, but it's completely safe, completely reliable, and it defaults to the stiffer mode, which allows you to travel at full speed safely.